So my name is Pete Thompson. I'm the GM of the Surface Computing Group at Microsoft. Um, what you're seeing here is the first commercially available uh, Surface computer, codenamed Milan, um, and we will be uh, deploying this this year within commercial locations like hotels, restaurants, uh, bars, and other public entertainment venues, as well as retail stores. It really represents a whole new way of actually taking an ordinary surface and making it come to life through gestures, touch, and, and interaction with physical objects. We think we believe it'll transform the way people shop, dine, entertain, and live their lives. So if we show you this is it, um, you're in a coffee shop or in a restaurant or in a hotel and you want to look at some photos, you can place a card down or you could do other means of getting the photos on here. You just click on a stack and now you can easily interact with those photos and people can be interacting at the same time. You can rotate them easily. There's no more need for 90 degree rotation. You can, you can have whatever angle you want. You can easily, just like in the real world, you can just use everyday gestures to be able to move that content around just as though they were physical photos. Not just still photos though, you could do this with video as well. So here we have a video. You can interact with this while at the same time other people are, are interacting with other photos. You could have multiple videos going. You can hear that there's an audio going for that, for that video. Over time, as Wi-Fi becomes more ubiquitous, we'll be able to use cameras to, to do automatic syncing where you might be on vacation and want to take some pictures and want to send um, share those with family and friends that aren't here. And, and what you can do is, we're going to take a picture here quickly. Okay. You take a Wi-Fi camera, you connect over Wi-Fi, it's now synced up. Um, we, we want to take a picture, we'll take a picture here of uh, Lou. And then we easily just put, place the camera down and recognizes that an object has been placed down and out comes a photo. Here's the photo I just took and we can interact with it. If we want to, we can send, send an e-card. There's different templates that would come up. If we like this template, we can take it, we can turn it over, we can write a note. Here I'm going to write upside down. And because it knows us, because of how we authenticated initially, we, we have some um, names already pre-registered in there, or we could call up a soft keyboard and actually send in an email to whoever we wanted to. So that's really photos. You can imagine this being any digital uh, media. It could be books, it could be videos, it um, could be music. So another application that's kind of fun just to look at is uh, shows the, the ability that people just, this is very magnetic and um, draws people in very approachable. Here we have just a simple water application, but it, 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 it looks like your actual fingers are gonna get wet and you can interact with it. Multiple people can interact with it. So your mind can run um, wild with all the applications that you could do with this. It could be sand, you could be digging for treasure, um, you could interact with other people to learn about how things work in the world. Um, we plan on you know, really letting people really explore their imagination with these types of applications. Okay. Oh, you can keep going if you want. Come oh, he, he, he'd ask to keep going. Okay. So imagine you're in a uh, T-Mobile retail store, and uh, wouldn't it be great to be able to blend the combination of the best that you get when you shop online with, with that ability to really touch and feel devices in a retail store? So here, I want to check out a couple different phones. I want to feel them, put them in my ear, see how that feels. Then I just put them down on the surface. It recognizes what phone that is. Um, you can move it around. You can explore different features. You can go as deep as you wanted into those features. Um, if you were interested in comparing the T-Mobile Dash to the T-Mobile Sidekick, you could then do that. You could make an instant comparison. You could again go deep into this. This is just an internet kind of uh, portal on these things, but it's combining that with those physical objects. Let's assume that I want to get the T-Mobile Dash. Then I could start to provision my plans. Here I can scroll through all the different plans that I wanted to. I just pull them up like virtual cards. And now I can, uh, if I want to, I can just move them around. Whichever angle, wherever I'm sitting, I can share this with it. 
I could do this on my own or I could do it as an assisted sale with a sales rep. They could be showing, you know, walking me through this. Let's say I want this plan for the MyFaves 1000. I just slide it over here and it automatically pre-configures and start building up my um, invoice. So now I could do that with services. Here, let's move slow down. I could do that with content. Let's assume that I'm interested in, in some ringtones. I don't have to go through all the UI and all the buttons on a phone. I can just say, wow, I'm interested in hearing what this one is. I can say, yes, that's the perfect one I want. I slide that one over and I buy it. I can do that with multiple ones and it just pre-configures it automatically. I did that in about 15 seconds versus having to go through the um, phone UI, which most people have a hard time doing right now. Then I could go in and see what kind of coverage I'm going to get through the T-Mobile personal coverage check. I can scroll around. I, I could see how, how my, my coverage is going to be at home, at work, on the commute, um, at family places, friends locations. I'm happy with the coverage that I'm going to get, so I hit confirm and all that information would go back to the uh, register. The person would then configure my phone and off I go. I've had a wonderful experience and uh, uh, T-Mobile has been able to transform that customer experience into something where I really had a good time and I want to come back and uh, be able to, so let's say I come back 30 days from now, it now shows my faves, it has my circle of friends and let's say, I, you know, one of the things that's really neat to do that not that many people do right now is associate a ringtone to each person that calls. So now, I'm sitting there and I just, in the, in the matter of seconds, I could call up some ringtones. I could decide that I want this ringtone associated when this person calls me. And that's all I'd have to do and it would pre-configure itself. And I'm done. I can walk out of the store and I've had another great customer experience.